Welcome, YouTube community. Guess what? We're back again. Yes, we're wearing the same shirts. This is actually the same night we did the Keebler Grasshopper uh, review, but this is going to be uploaded the next day because they don't want to do two uploads of cookies in the same day. But we wanted to eat two different cookies in the same night. So we're doing it. Now these were only a dollar at the local grocery store where I got them from. I believe you can get this. This is Bud's Best Cookies. You can probably get these at other places. Have you seen yeah. them at Walmart? No. I don't know if you've seen it at Walmart, but other local areas, your local stores, maybe more your uh, mom and pop kind or whatever, or the smaller chain might have these. These are Best Bud's Cookies. Or Bud's Best Cookies. And these happen to be chocolate mint cream. And I'm a big fan of mint. You like yeah. mint? Do you? Okay. So we're going to review these. It's bite size. These are a little bit smaller. So if you like a bigger cookie, you're not going to like these too much. Um, oh, it smells like mint. And there it is. That's how little it is. It looks like a little wheel on a dang car for one of your uh, Lego guys. Um, bite size, 6 ounces, 170 grams. Let's try it without any milk or anything. Here we go. I'll try two in a row. Because honest with you, I don't taste too much mint. I don't either. Tastes like vanilla, doesn't it? But it literally says mint. It doesn't say cream. It says mint creams. But it doesn't say like, you know, just a creamy center. This is a mint. So you're thinking of like when you eat a, um, oh, patty. Patty mint. You know, or... You know, one of the mints you eat, or a thin mint, you know, you were thinking of having that little bit of a evergreen type, you know, scent, taste, smell, winter whatever. Green. Uh, wintergreen. Yeah, so. It's hard to bite in. I'll try it with milk. Well, we're going to move that wrapper. There we go. Move it all the way. I don't think the review is going to be very well. With milk, I can taste the mint more. With milk, I can. But not as... Not as it, I was just thinking more minty. But, anyways... Out of a 10, I give it dry, I give it a 4, and with milk, I give it a 5. Yeah. And it's uh, it was hard, but then the milk made it softer. Yeah, broke it down, obviously it would. And it's, um, for a buck, you can't beat it. I mean, if you just want something real quick, and you kind of don't like too much mint, but you want a little bit of mint, then get those. Those are pretty good. Um, for that situation, but if you're a mint fan like me, like I like peppermint ice cream and peppermint this, peppermint chocolate, all, I like all kinds of peppermint stuff, then you want to get uh, something with a little bit more minty taste. That wouldn't be the cookie to go with. So, you guys have heard the review. Pretty decent, but for a buck, I wouldn't mind buying them again, but may not buy them again, so... Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, and um, you know maybe comment on what what you guys want us to try next or something. You know, 
Uh, please keep sharing the videos. Please keep us out there. And uh, we appreciate the ones that do tune in and watch. We really appreciate it. So you guys keep your life sports active. We'll see you again next time on another review or something else. Oh, and the people out there watching my videos, I am still doing nothing but water. But I told you if I'm eating cookies or cereal, I, I do have milk. It's got water in it. Okay. Alright. Later, guys.